Immigration officials continue to drop off migrants at a Phoenix Greyhound bus station and churches across the valley. Cronkite News reporter Walter Panate visited a church in Tolleson where they want to continue to help, but it isn't easy. About a day or two in the church while arrangements are made for them, with the increase of families being dropped off, the amount of supplies that people are donating just isn't enough. It's a crisis. It's a crisis. We need help. I mean, we do this with all of our heart. It's been a labor of love and faith for Pastor Raul Salgado as Revolution Church in Tolleson continues to open its doors to the steady stream of migrant families dropped off by immigration and custom enforcement officials. But the desire to help has come at a cost. Uh, it looks like it's just getting bigger and bigger. The numbers when we started back um, in, in November, December, we started off with 50 a day. Now we're up to like 100 a day, so it's, they've just been up, going up higher and higher. These migrant families are being dropped off by ICE after they've petitioned for asylum and been processed. Okay. ICE has been releasing waves of them since late last year, arguing they simply do not have enough facilities to house them. One of them, Ismael Dominguez, crossed into the U.S., coming from Guatemala. In Mexico, immigration stopped us and they took our money. We put all our money together to be able to give to them and they let us pass. That's where organizations like Revolution Church step in, but the constant influx of family is stretching many of these aid groups thin. We have to provide three meals. Sometimes we provide two. People are hungry. They're hungry. They want to eat everything that you pour there on the table, especially children. Salgado says churches are struggling financially. With more families arriving, the church's monthly expenses have doubled. Other churches, he points out, haven't had any other choice but to stop helping the migrants. When churches can't host families, ICE drops them off at this Greyhound bus station near Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. The concern is that these people won't know what to do when they get left here. They have to sleep there. They have to call the police. And these people, they don't know nothing about it. It's another system, another government uh, system. It's another country, another language. My goal is to work and maintain an establishment for my family. In any way, shape, or form that we could receive some help, you know, that, that would be awesome. And we could continue to uh, not only help uh, the people we're hosting, but help out uh, the government, you could say that way, because it's the government who's bringing them out to us, to the churches. Both pastors are now receiving migrant families multiple times a week. They say they hope state officials will soon step in to help with what they call a crisis. In the Brockhead Center, Walter Penate, Cronkite News.